Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is The Gaming Guy and today's video is going to be hopefully a little bit helpful for some people. I've made two of these videos in the past which are to do with Chrome Autofill and the details of it. However, in the past it was, the first video wasn't the greatest, the second was a bit better. However, it was still covering a lot of the details and I wasn't really going through it in the best order. So today I'm going to do my best to go through it and I'm going to show you straight through like filling the details on everything and explain what you probably need to do when it comes to trying to cop Supreme uh, on the Monday and then on the weeks to follow obviously. So I hope this video helps. If it does like be much appreciated. Other than that comment down below what you use when you go for Supreme. Do you try with a bot? Do you use autofill? Do you try to actually type it out manually? What do you do? I'd really like to know what people do because they're Obviously so many people copying, so yeah, I hope this video helps. So, there are a couple of things that you can do in order just to go on to the autofill settings, the Chrome autofill settings. Just so I can be clear, you don't need to download any extension. This is automatically built into Chrome and it's just automatically with your account as soon as you're logged in. So, you can click these three icons, the three little dots in the top right. This is one way just to go on to it. Uh, as, all, as I said, Dev, or if I haven't said already, there's a link down below that you just drag and put into your URL and I'll show you in a second that link as well. But this is one way. You can click settings. Now right at the bottom of the settings tab, there's this little advanced. You can click on that. What that'll do is open a load of drop downs that I will just skip past because there's no actual information there. And this is the one that you want to go on to. You want to click auto fill settings. Okay, so obviously what you want to do is click this. What you can simply do is go to this URL, which is Chrome colon two forward slashes or whatever you want to call them settings forward slash autofill. That's all you want to do. That's all you want to go on to. And that is it. So yeah, let's get back into the other side where you go through all the details. So the first thing that you want to make sure is that this top little part where it says autofill forms, you want to make sure that blue line is all the way across. The point of this is that when you go onto something that is like a form, it will automatically fill in your details. So long as you've either used the website before or in general, just so you can just double click and it will bring up your details. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So you want that click. So for details, I would recommend just so you are like almost taking a precaution and almost so it's just the safer route. You want to make sure that you don't add any cards. You don't want any card details. You don't want anything like that. You literally just want to enter your address email and any details like that that are necessary so you click add okay that's very simplistic that's very basic you know that's an easy thing now this is what I mean by double click when you go on to any other sort of website it won't happen here because as you can see if I go over this and double click nothing's happening okay nothing should happen because it wants to have new information and new details so you can put in a new address you know if I just enter very simple okay I can hit save to that as you can see that appears now at the very top for me now if you want to edit that you simply edit or remove now let's go I will remove that because I'm not going to use that okay so I was sort of like halfway through editing this video sort of like covering up details and things when I realized that my side of sort of showing uh, how the autofill works or how you're meant to get it up for supreme on monday was not the greatest example i could have provided so currently as you can see i'm sitting on palace um and we're just going to do this so that you can see so click add to cart it's going to say adding we're going to go to the cart we're going to hit checkout as you can see currently there are no details this is how it will be presented on supreme so the same way that supreme have down here this save information for next time Palettes have the same thing, most websites where you check out sort of, or they have sort of weekly drops, normally have this sort of thing. So you obviously tick that, as soon as you go to check out at the next point in time, your details are just remembered. So, this is this is all I'm going to do. So on Supreme, normally the top is name. Uh, I'll have an example later on in the video, or I will have an example later on in the video because I'm editing this now. Uh, but all you need to do is just click, that's it. Sometimes you need to double click, sometimes it's a single click. What it will do on Palace is it will bring up your email first as email comes up first. If I click off of that for Supreme, it's normally for names, you can click name and it will do the details in the same format as you can see like that. However, with Palace, you normally want to 
click for the email at the top because email first. That is as simple as it is. That's all you need to do. As soon as you hit the save information for next time and you go onto it, your details should be automatically filled in and then you just fill in your payment details separately. So anyway, I'll let you get back to the video and yeah. I hope this I, I hope this does help you. I hope this really does help you because it's a method that's a lot simpler than some of the uh, like extension autofill methods and things. So yeah. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so I've got the footage from when I last uh, sort of recorded this. I've brought it up on screen now. So as you can see, when I go in, this is obviously during spring summer 18. My details are instantly there. They they are instantly there because I've checked out multiple multiple times on Supreme. So obviously here are my here's the sort of uh, page, <laughs> two cursors, uh, but here's the sort of a uh, page when it is blank. Now during this video, as you can see in a second, I double click and my details will appear just like that. I double click and my details appear. This is all that you need to do when it comes to the day of checking out because obviously I, I believe Supreme like wipe a clean slate every season so this is all that you need to do. Simply double click over where the names are and yeah then just click whichever one you've got. Obviously if it's someone else's Google account or like a family account sort of thing you have to click the correct person but I will end up clicking the top one and as you see it instantly loads in or the details will change and they'll load in. Obviously, I'm going to be blurring it, but you should see a sort of change in each detail as I scroll through each sort of name or address sort of thing. And then obviously, if you need to change anything or if anything's not correct, like I said, just go into the autofill settings and you can just change whatever you need to. But yeah, that is literally all that you need to do. Uh, this video was a bit longer than I anticipated because I was going to make, I was trying to make it as short as possible, but I seem to just waffle on. I will also put in the description down below a sort of summary of what you need to do and just all the sorts of details and things in a sort of step by step order with spaces between, so that it's all just sort of in like a nice orderly fashion. But I hope this video helps you for Monday. There will also be a video out either tomorrow or uh, Sunday, uh, which will just have some sort of tips and just things that might be helpful to you uh, because this video is specifically about the Chrome autofill which I do personally use and have always used to check out on Supreme. So yeah, if this video helps you at all, uh, let me know down below. A couple of people in the Discord have already said that it's helped them. Uh, somebody actually messaged me, which was, I believe, yes, HAPS. So HAPS, it helped uh, them uh, because the autofill worked for them. I believe they signed up for Supreme and they were selected so that's pretty decent and I'm glad that it worked out and it worked for them but yeah that's the end of this video if you enjoyed like be much appreciated other than that I'll see you all next time peace well next time's either tomorrow or Sunday but you get what I mean peace